Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Gigi here with another DIY. Today I actually am going to be doing a DIY of a prayer journal that I just recently purchased from Coffee and Bible Time. Um, I saw it on one of my other friends channel, Melissa Harris, and I was like, oh my god, I really have got to have this journal. And I, I thought it would be a great addition to my prayer life. And so I went on the hunt to try to purchase one. However, they were sold out. So I emailed them and asked them if they were going to get any more in stock. And they said, yeah, you know, it's just be wait patient. It was going to take a couple more months. So I said, okay, you know, so I was like kind of little bummed or whatever. And that was about a week and a half ago. And then two days ago, I think it was Friday, um, they announced that they had a printable version because so many people were asking them about having uh, this, purchasing this particular prayer journal. So I was like, oh my God, thank you Lord for answering my prayers, which is half the cost. It's only $20 and you can print it yourself. So I'm gonna show you how I DIY'd this journal. So let's get into it. So uh, first thing I do wanna tell you guys is I don't have a, this is a, my sample of my order from um, um, Office Depot. And I printed it on some heavier weight paper, um, which is about a 28 weight paper because I wanted to make sure that um, it was on a kind of thick quality and not regular paper because I wanna use my Papermate flare pens on it. So I wanted it to go through. So I had a coupon and everything and it cost me about like 12 bucks to go ahead and print it on this um, on this heavier style paper. It does um, come with 45 pages and on the 45 pages you'll see that um, uh, you can print more than one of the pages and I'll, as I get into the flip through uh, you'll see which pages you can uh, already know that you want to print multiple of. I didn't know at first, so I didn't, you know, have time to really tell them. And if I had my own personal color printer at home, I probably would have done things a little differently, but I really wanted to kind of go ahead and get in it. So I was like, you know what, let me just get the 45 pages and then I can kind of work around the rest. So what I used was um, a old Happy Planner teacher. I was going to laminate the cover page that it comes with um as a holder but I when I went through my stash I saw that I had this old happy planner cover that I hadn't used so I was like okay that'll be perfect I can use that and I went through my ring stash grabbed some rings and grabbed my happy planner punch now this planner that I'm using that I put it in is the big size this is the classic size punch so I had to do some maneuvering to go ahead and get this punch to fit all of the pages but with a really quick, simple, and I can show you guys how to do it later, but with a really quick, simple steps, you can go ahead and get it done. So let's get into it. All right, let me move some things out of the way so that we can clearly see everything. All right, so this is the inside right here. Um, it had like a the Happy Planner logo, so I just put a little a flower there to cover that up. I grabbed a little pocket. This is a pocket from my old prayer journal that I had um, where I would place um, prayers in there. Uh, at first, I did. I hadn't thought about it. I was like, you know what? I can punch these pages. So I started punching them later, but then I still stuck them in this little pocket. So this is a little pocket for me to stick pages in. They have punches, so if I want to put them in, um, I can put them in. And this is the front cover here. It says a prayer journal by Coffee and Bible Time and the editable, uh, the printable version. And I just cut out a little sticker and put it there. And you'll see I use these tabs here because it doesn't come with tabs. I use these tabs that I purchased from um, Office Max. And I'm trying to grab them here. They're these. They can write on them. They're by Post-it. Really easy to write on and use. I think they were like three or four bucks. 
so it has their welcome and it tells you all about this printable version and what you get and how you can print the pages and everything on your own and then it tells you the different sections that are in here so that's how i knew exactly what i was going to do to create my um, tabs what i was going to do to create my tabs and then there's a note to them about how they actually started this particular prayer journal. And I put a journaling key card in here because I do plan on doing kind of like I do my Bible journaling. Um, and I'm going to write that in later. And then there's three ways to use this particular journal. And as I read through them, I just highlighted the most important things. One is to pray. Two, make it your very own. And three, it's completely up to you. It doesn't have to be modeled after anyone. Let it be your own, be yourself, be unique with it. And then you have the first tab, which is praise. And a little um, scripture here and some instructions on this little note page here for you to meditate on this scripture and write out what you think and rewrite it in your own words. I love doing that with scriptures, rewriting it in my own words. It makes it so much more alive to me. And then there's a page here for you to write out your favorite praise and worship song. This is a page that I'm probably going to print out more pages of because I really do love this page. And then for right now, I just punch some little cards if I want to write down a list of different prayer songs that I like um, or praise songs that I like and to, you know, have a list that I want to like a quick reference list, kind of like, um, prayers like when I'm sad or I mean songs when I'm sad or when I'm feeling anxious or anxiety filled or whatever I'm going to make me a list write them down for quick reference so I can either go to them if I haven't had a chance to kind of write them out here and I put a little sticker here that says amen and this one is for you to kind of just like write down uh, words from God about God who God is while you're praising and worshiping him and this section I love a lot. This is where you put your little sticky notes here of all your different prayers. This is a page you only get one in this section. In each of the sections, you only get one of these. So I've already printed out multiple of these and I was able to do that because I do have a black and white printer um, here at my house. And then the next section is confess. As you can see, I've put like my own little couple of little Anna notes, uh, stickers and things here. This, I wanna just write it down, just confess it. If I don't have a post-it or haven't gotten a post-it close by me, if I wanna write stuff down, just write it down. And here is another section where you read the scripture, reflect on it, and she gives you some instructions on what you can do. And then this is a page that I put in here myself and I wanna write down affirmations of everything. I wanna write down, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am precious in God's sight. You know, all of these different affirmations about me and then affirmations about God. So I put a couple of pages in here so I can do that. And then you have more of the sticky note pages. The next section is give thanks and I put a little flower here. And I put some notes here just for the same reason, if I don't have any sticky notes or don't have any space, I have some note pages here that I can write. I love this section here in the book that says alphabet thankfulness. So you can write down um, in alphabetical order what you're thankful for. Um, I'm going to do it from what I'm thankful for, what God has done for me and my life. So I don't know, like... I would definitely thankful for J would be my job, <laughs> you know, things like that. You know, C would be my children. F would be for my family. I'm thankful for, you know, all of those different things. So you get all of the letters of the alphabet there and you can just write those words in. This is another page that I will be printing more of that says I am thankful for. And then more of the sticky note pages. Next section section is rest and listen and this section you're just to be still set a timer relax just meditate on whatever god this is the time where you really really stop turn off all the distract distractions and just listen in to god and the holy spirit and so what i have printed i don't know if you can see it that well but it's some dot grid paper that i printed out i found this on etsy for one dollar a pdf 
Um, I can't remember the name of the person who I got it from, but um, I printed out about 10 pages of this and um, I'm just gonna just like use it as a brain dump. I mean, just as I'm meditating, as I'm just listening and reflecting, I'm just gonna write it all out here, just free space. And I did a little bit of decorating to some of the pages um, with the flower sticker book from the Happy Planner. Some of these big corner um, flower stickers I'm going to be probably putting on these pages because I use a personal size planner now. I don't use the classic size or even the mini. So these stickers will fit perfectly for this. So I have about 10 of those pages in here. And then more of the sticky notes page. Next section is urgent prayers. And here, if someone texts you, if it's something you need to write down for a family member, whatever, you can write it down here. And so I got some more grit paper, sticky notes paper for that. The next section is petition. I put a little faith warrior here because by faith, I'm going to make my petitions known to God, knowing that he is listening and hearing what I am asking him for. And so here, I love this. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Psalm 17 and 61, 17 and six. I love that. And so I put some dot grit paper here just because here I may really have a lot that I want to say. So I put a, a couple of grid paper here just so I can just write it all out, get it all out. I like this, how it says, Lord, I need you. Fill up this page with all of your weaknesses and cry out to God for your strength and help. Really nice page to have. And I really wanted to do the flip through bear because once I get into it, I, you know, it's personal. I probably wouldn't want to um, show everything. I'll probably have to cover up some pages once I start filling it out if I want to do an update on it. But yeah. So another sticky notes page here. This is a page I will probably um, go ahead and print some more of. I really like it. And I put some little embellishment stickers here too for me to just write out my petitions to God on this. I love this. And I'll probably date these. The next section is praying scripture. So here you get um, these pages where you are praying scripture to God. This one is the same kind of as before where you read the scripture, rewrite it back to God as to what he's saying to you after you've meditated on it. You have some sticky notes pages and then you have this really cool page here where it says the date, the verse, and your prayer. This is basically what I used to do a long time ago. That's really, this was my main format of prayer here when, oh, like here. You see how I would have Ephesians 4, that would be my scripture, whatever. And then I write, Paul writes to us, pleading with us. And then this is, you know, my prayer as I go into it. So that's what I used to do before. So I really love this page. So I'm definitely going to be printing more. I went on ahead and jumpstart and printed some with my black and white because I know this is a page that I'm really going to want to use really quickly before I can get a chance to get them printed in color. And so the next section is day of the week prayer. So each day there's a specific focus for you to pray for. So Monday would be family. And I'm just going to fill this up with sticky notes. Tuesdays would be for Christian friends. Um, Wednesdays, non-believers. Thursdays, church and ministry. Friday, the nation, the world, missions. And that's for that section. Now with this section... Um, Another thing that I want to note that she says, you don't have to always every single day do every single section here, which is true because you probably wouldn't have time to do that. You can pick a few sections to do um, however you want to do it. So don't feel overwhelmed by it, but just start with wherever God leads you to what you want to do. You know, maybe one day you just need to confess and that's all. That's the only section you're going to go through. But every day I do want to be very purposeful and intentional and intentional with praying. Her opening letter definitely spoke to me because she talks about how she always wanted to pray. And then at nighttime, when she got ready to go and pray, she would fall asleep praying. I have that testimony so much, but I found that when I started writing them down, the prayers were so much more impactful. Um, they were so much more 
you know, I was just more into my prayer life when I started writing things down, especially the way I was doing it with the scripture. So, um, so I just wanted to interject that. And this, like I said, this, this, this section here will definitely be just pure sticky notes and you can use a variety of sticky notes, whatever color, whatever style, shape, whatever you want to use. And the, this next section, I think this is the last section. Yeah. God answers prayers. And so here you just write down your sticky notes, um, of all of God's answered prayers. And as I was reading through this and going through this, I was like, God, I want to be able to have my sticky notes just piled up high of all of the answered prayers. And this section just piled up high of thanks to God because he answered those prayers. So I definitely, I don't know if I'm going to print another one of these papers because I really want to see how high it gets stacked up. So yeah, we'll see. And then this one is what prayer did God answer and how give all the glory and praise to God. So just some additional pages. If you run out of this style of page, um, you know, maybe it was a sticky, maybe it was a prayer that you really didn't write down. Maybe it was something you just held on into your heart and you realized that God answered that prayer for you. And then you just remembered it and wrote it down here. And so it tells you how to follow coffee and Bible time. So definitely screenshot this if you want to. These are all their social media platforms. If you want to go ahead and follow them and purchase this as well. And then just a little blurb about coffee and Bible time and the last page. So that is it. And I love the fact that I used my happy planner to do this um, because the pages, it's kind of hard now because I just punched the pages and stuff, but it's just, I love it because I can just tear these pages out so easily and just push them back in. That's why I love it. Instead of the way that they actually have it, the coiled bound that they have, I guess, it's that gold ring bound that they have. So I really like their cover though. <laughs> so I really wish I could get that cover. I don't know, I might do a, a different kind of DIY, but for right now, this will work to go ahead and um, get started. So I thank you all, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you've been following me, you know that I still have um, some of these faith bookmarks left. If you would like one, I'm giving them away for free. Go ahead and email me to my email and I will uh, email me your address to my email and I'll get it mailed out to you. Thank you all for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.